Hello friends, I am Parwiz and this is our fourth video in Python Flask CRUD web application development. Uh, in the last video we have uh, covered about uh, uh, adding the uh, add student uh, button and also we have made a table and this is a uh, static data. Also we have made edit and delete uh, buttons like this. Right now uh, there is no functionality for these buttons. Uh, now I want that uh, when I click on add a student button uh, here should be a, a form should be pop up that I can insert my data. Also uh, when I click on edit also the same uh, here will be a pop up uh, form that I can edit my uh, my data student data according to the database. Now let me open my uh, PyCharm and uh, we will start where we have left. Uh, one important issue uh, that I forgot from the previous video, you need to add this uh, uh, start block body uh, and also before the body you should add this uh, and also add and also end the block in here. Okay. Uh, okay for Making functional this add student, if you remember from the previous video, I have added, uh, let me add a student, you can see in here, an add a student button, I have added a data toggle, and also I have added a data target. Now, according to this, I can do my jQuery stuff. Uh, one important issue, you need to add uh, your jQuery and also bootstrap, uh, bootstrap .js files uh, that I have added in here and you can see a uh, script type uh, you need to add this at the end uh, text JavaScript URL for uh, this is my jQuery uh, because I have this in my folder in my GS folder let me open this yeah you can see I have bootstrap jQuery uh, 3.2.1 and also I have a bootstrap.main.js uh, bootstrap.main.js and uh, you need to add this at the first the jQuery and at the second step you need to add your uh, JavaScript file okay now uh, and and here uh, in this section in between the container or main container container I need to add this let me copy this and uh, because it's a lot of code, if I write this, it will t the video will be longer. So I'm going to just copy and I will show the code. Okay, I have copied this. Mm, let me uh, bring it in here. Add a student list. Yeah, uh, I have a ID my model. Uh, I target this my model uh, in here uh, in my button. This my model and. Uh, Okay, now in here uh, I have a model fit class, also I have a role dialog and I have a model dialog class and also this is model content. These are bootstrap uh, uh, classes. I have a model header and in here I have a button. I have a button, a data dismissal, this is the model and at the title I am going to write please insert data. And after this I have another div class, model body. And in here I have a form action right now. Uh, I don't write anything in here, but in the next video I will change this and I will make this dynamic. And the method is post. Uh, I have a form dash group, and here I need a name because uh, I'm going to add name, student name, and also I have required one that uh, uh, the user should not, uh, it should uh, fill all the fields. And also I have an email, I have another form group, I have email, and also the required is one. After this I have a phone, and in here also the required is one, like this. And at the end I have a insert data button, like this. And after this I have a folder for my this model, for my this form. And the folder I have just a close button, like this, you can see. Uh, and one important issue that uh, I will add the uh, source code of this to my GitHub as soon as possible when this uh, series be completed. Uh, you can see, you will check the description and I will add that. 
Okay, this was for, for our insert, add insert data. Uh, let me save this and let me refresh my application. Yeah, now if I click on add a student, you can see now I have a nice uh, model for please insert data. You can add name, email. If I uh, feel blank, if I uh, let blank this, let me insert data. You can see please fill out this field. Uh, now, this was from the add student. Now we are going to work on our edit student. This is the same, okay? Uh, I'm going to just copy this. Uh, this was from here, I think. Uh, let me copy this up to the uh, footer. Yeah, up to the here. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to add this. Uh, let me, I have, I think, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to take this div from, yeah, this all I need. Let me copy this. And up to the model, uh, div ID model. And just add this uh, at the At the top of this yeah like this okay and also I am going to change this uh, my model here you can see I have an error because my edit model this is model edit let me copy this and paste this in here and I need to change this please update data uh, button okay let me bring this I need a name I don't need any required in here uh, I just need a volume okay right now I'm going to add a static volume for example a name and uh, also I'm going to remove this required I uh, volume and an email for example like this an email also, also, I'm going to remove this required from here, and I'm I just add a value to this and a random phone number like this, and also in here you can simply write update update data. Yeah, now I'm going to save this and refresh this, and just click on this edit. You can see now I have and please update data and update data. Uh, this was a complete code. Uh, don't worry, I will add this to the GitHub and I will add the link to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And I think this was our last video on design. And after this, we will work on our uh, database, uh, MySQL database interaction with Flask web application. And if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.